Mm, look at that beautiful music you can make with it. Welcome back to the Scribbled Bookcase. I'm Kelsey Lee and today I'm sharing with you something new. Today I decided I was going to share with you guys my new journal because I'm mildly obsessed with it. And that is this adorable traveler's notebook that I just got. And I bought this from ZLYC. They actually come in these cute little bags. So it says ZLYC Free Mind Creative Life is the only thing that we strive to create the better thing. I s have been trying to understand what that means. Is the only thing that we strive to create the better thing. What what does that mean? That's like not a legitimate sentence. I don't get it. Somebody explain this to me. And they have so many colors and varieties, so of course that meant I spent like five hours wasting my time on Amazon trying to decide which color I wanted. But I ultimately went with this really gorgeous cover and I'm so happy with this decision. I actually think it is even prettier in person than it is on their pictures on Amazon. And that is the, this is a mouthful, are you ready? The Vintage Handmade Refillable Leather Flowers Embossed Passport Size Traveler's Journals Diary Notebook. I can't even, I can't even finish it. I can't finish it, guys. Traveler's Journals Diary Notepad Notebook Coffee. Try saying that five times fast, because that was, oh my goodness, quite the mouthful. So let me just get a zoomed in shot of that embossed flower pattern. Isn't that gorgeous? Currently on Amazon, this is retailing for $15.99, which is a pretty decent price when it comes to leather traveler's notebooks. This is definitely a cheaper alternative to the Midori notebooks, which are by far the most popular, but also because of that, the most expensive. And I knew that that was not going to work for my budget, so I was looking for alternatives and found this one. I was a little nervous, but it had really good reviews. and. As it turns out, it was a great decision. Obviously, I don't have a Midori notebook to compare it to, so maybe that one is incredibly better, I don't know. But for what I want it to be, this is perfect thus far. Um, so we'll see how wear and tear goes over time, but I love it. I love it, guys. So I'm going to open it up and show you what I have in here thus far. So this stuff does not come with the notebook. I'm going to show you first what does come with the notebook. So you get three little notebooks. These two that I've kept in here and also this third one. They actually come with it which is pretty rare for traveler's notebooks. Usually you have to buy inserts separate. Granted these aren't the best quality notebooks. The paper isn't like super high grade but it works for what I want them to do. And they pick the inserts randomly. So they have lined ones which is one that I got so I have this lined one. They have blank ones here, and then they have calendar ones that look like this. So I was lucky in that I got a different one of each, but I have read reviews in which people got like three calendar ones since, since it is random. Uh, so obviously that can be kind of annoying, but for the most part you probably will just want to take these out and use your own inserts anyhow. So because this is going to be my wallet, I've actually decided to use the line one kind of like a checkbook, both for my own personal finances and for my Etsy store. So I'm going to make this into a cover page for my own personal finances. And then you can see I just kind of created a really basic grid here with date, transaction, plus or minus, so whether it was a withdrawal or a deposit, the amount of money, and then the balance. So I have my current balance in there right now. I just wash that over because y'all don't need to know how much money I have. And so I'll just be filling this in as I buy stuff, and that way I can really keep track of this and be comparing it to my bank notices. And it's a really efficient way to keep track of my money, and having it in my wallet just means that as soon as I get that receipt, I can just fill this out and not have to be compiling all of my receipts later. And then in addition to this, halfway through where the binding goes on it, because all of the books for Traveler's Notebooks are kept in by little elastics like this. So I'll have another 
cover page that I'm going to do here for my Etsy sales. So I just have the date, the item, the buyer, whether I made it, whether I shipped it, the net cost, so after Etsy takes out their amount of money that they get from the profit, and then the total. And I actually realized halfway through that the net cost includes the amount of shipping money that the buyer gives us. So I changed it halfway. I took out all of the shipping from that amount of all the stuff I had already put in, and then created two columns now under net cost. So one of them will be the actual net cost, and then I'll put minus shipping on this column, and then have the total from there. That way it's a little bit more accurate how much we actually made, since shipping is not really money made, since we have to then pay the shipping anyhow. Uh, I made a mark, it was really sad. Ugh. Don't you just hate that? Those accidental marks on your pages break your heart. And then I also have back here a place to keep track of things that I buy for the shop. So if I'm buying, say, sticker paper for the shop to make stickers to sell to all of you, Speaking of which, these will be going in the shop very soon. War binder stickers, how exciting. And so they have the little tabs, scripture, prayer, sermons for you to use. So I'm gonna be putting these in the shop very soon, so get excited about that. Anyways, that was only a slight self-promotion tangent. The idea is that I will put in the item, so sticker paper for war binder stickers, and then whether I used my debit card, my credit card, or cash, and then whether I bought it or if my mom bought it since our shop is shared, and then whatever that cost is. So that is what that is. So I put all of that into this line notebook that came with it, and as you can see, this is the Tombow brush pen, and this is a um, brush pen from Faber Castell Pit Artist Pen in bold. And as you can see, it doesn't really bleed through all that badly. So that's not horrible quality paper, but it's definitely not the best. And then I also have in here this blank one. And this one I'm planning on using primarily just for like notes and things on the go. So this will probably be mostly to like sketch out layouts and stuff for different like planner pages or stickers or trackers I want to do. I'm thinking this would be primarily like a place that I do that in because currently I've just been like grabbing a post-it and jotting things down and I think this would be a more efficient method of doing that. So just for notes on the go, that's what that'll be. And then I flipped through really fast these at the front and these are inserts that you can buy. They do not come with the ZLYC. But these inserts actually cost me $7.99, and these were Travis Notebook inserts refill for passport size, and it's a set of three made of transparent plastic, and each one has four card holders, so let me find the other one I didn't put in here. So they come like this. This is what they look like when they're not in your Travis Notebook. And so you have one, two, three, four card holders, and then this nice zipper pouch where you could put change, money, receipts, whatever you want to do. And they just slip right onto the elastics like so. And you just put it in there, and then you can use that on the go. I'm only using two right now, but I think I might add this third one to keep my Etsy receipts and my personal receipts separate. We'll see, since I'm using this one for money and gift cards that don't fit in these stupid things because somebody gave me a stupidly shaped gift card. There's post-its on here because I didn't want you to see my personal information. I don't know why I just said that in an accent, but basically I have, you know, my main cards in the front, the cards I use all the time, and then got some like gift cards from Christmas. My Barnes & Noble card has to be front and center, of course. And yeah, so it's just really efficient and I love having it this way because my previous wallet it was like such a struggle to get cards out and you could only see like this much of it, like that tippy top. So you weren't really sure even what card it was. And so it was really frustrating and I love that it's clear so I just know exactly what it is. I can go in and just take that out. And then the pouch is great for keeping loose change and any cash that you have, little coupons, whatever it may be. And then I have so far Etsy receipts in here. And this has been such a great system. I haven't even gone out in public and like actually used this as a wallet yet because I just got it yesterday and set it up. 
but I'm so excited to do that, guys. I think it is beautiful and obviously perfect size to just throw in your purse. It is basically the size of a wallet. For comparison, here's my bullet journal, which is a personal size planner, and there is the wallet. So tiny, so tiny. I'm really excited to get an insert that I can do mixed media on, so like on the go, I could just do some like art and stuff and have that in here, just pretty things to look out whenever I open my wallet. Be super nice. Um, Allie Brown has a really awesome wallet set up in a traveler's notebook, so I'll link that down below because I really enjoyed her video on it, and I just, I love all her videos. So, I will also link down below the wallet, um, or passport, technically. Passports don't fit in this, so I don't know why they call it passport TNs, but this is a passport size TN, and I will link this specific one down below so you can check it out, and I really, really recommend looking at these ones that I'm going to have linked down below over, like, the Midori inserts, because maybe, once again, Midori inserts are a better quality, but these are really nice quality this, that I can tell, and you get three of them for the price that you buy one Midori insert of these. So, you do the math. I think it's a pretty good deal. I was originally going to include in this me decorating the covers of these inserts, because I want to make them pretty since they're just poopy brown. So I'm going to actually be doing that in another video, so this one isn't too long. So make sure to check that one out. I'll have that link down below once that is up as well. So thank you guys for watching. Let me know what you'd like to see from me next. I have so many videos on hold that like I want to make for you guys. So do stay tuned. I'm going to be having a video soon of how to make Warbinder divider inserts that I've been promising you guys forever. I'm going to be doing some more writing videos and all sorts of fun stuff. So definitely be sure to check in with me and subscribe if you haven't already. Give this video a thumbs up if you liked it and let me know what you keep in your wallet TNs if you have one. Thanks so much guys. Bye!